All cool. right, we're going to be talking about SmackDown, November 23rd, 2000. It's Thanksgiving time, so what better than a Thanksgiving edition of our favorite wrestling show ever in the history of the turkey, world? That was a turkey, by the way. That was a turkey sound he was making. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, for sure. That's awesome. James too. just kept going. He just kept rolling. <laughs> I got words to get out, man. We got to get on here. Uh, <laughs> True. I stopped every time you guys made noises, we never get anywhere. <laughs> That's all I got, bro. <laughs> the whole, that's the whole good Patreon format. segment is. Skew out, skew out, keep this fucking bus moving. Skew out, keep this bitch going. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, so we kick the show yeah, off down. with, uh, yeah, we kick the show off with everybody on the ground. This, uh, yeah. this intro <laughs> goes <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I love that intro. It still goes hard. To Dude, this my day. favorite part is uh, mm -hmm. they so they're they're showing the intro video, and I had to go back. For, I forget why I was trying to see like a spot in there, and I definitely like I rewound on the network, and it took me right to the part where there's just a. I guess they specifically filmed the shot of Rikishi doing the bonsai oh! drop onto a camera. Dude, thing. I was that gonna was cool. That. Yeah, that's the best part. It's, it's so good. <laughs> They Just really got the ass. camera underneath his ass yeah. and said, jump. Yeah, I, need, I need a gift <laughs> of that, honestly. It's so good. And God, it sticks out like a sore thumb because everything else is like, you can't tell what it is. You can absolutely tell. It's action tell shots. And then there's just Rikishi's, Rikishi's ass, ass. ass. <laughs> in 4K. Bonsai, brother. So, oh, yeah. Sorry, uh, we we get this uh, we get this intro, then we go into the the actual SmackDown here, where the pyro is going fucking nuts. You know, you got wow. fifty thousand signs. Two thousand is a fantastic year for WWE. The SmackDown oh, yeah. oval screens going crazy. People are going so crazy. Michael Cole can barely even get the words out of his mouth. I mean, this place is electric. <laughs> Wrestling yeah. needs to be this again. It needs to be the signs and the noise and the pyro and the screens. That's good why stuff do you right think, there. Um, why do you think signs? like went away yeah i don't i actually i think smartphones killed signs oh you think people are trying too hard they want to they don't want their hands occupied because they want to take pictures and shit and video on their yeah, phone they want to film and shit yeah probably oh, do you remember that damn. do you remember that picture of lebron or it was like that same with lebron james with a little flip phone trying to record stone cold steve yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty good. Oh hell yeah! I also think <laughs> WWE WWE looking through all the signs and making sure you don't have anything crazy also killed it too. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I guess you you couldn't after I went like PG you couldn't bring signs that said "fuck Tom, my best friend Tom, go fuck yourself, you <laughs> pussy." You couldn't bring those anymore. Yeah, fuck Tom. I hate that guy. Little yeah, Tom actually he went to Vince and said, "Look, I can't have this." In the crowd anymore. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> and Vince, and said, Vince well, said, "Leave me alone, you weirdo. I don't want to be seen with around you." <laughs> fuck MySpace. <laughs> so after the intro, we get into a match here. Very first match of the evening here on this Thanksgiving SmackDown. Eddie Guerrero versus Billy Gunn. The WWF Intercontinental Championship is on the line, boys. Yeah, uh, Eddie Guerrero is the champion here. Uh, by Mich uh, Commissioner McFoley says the Radicals are uh, barred from ringside here, uh, which I guess... Pretty much gave away the finish. Because <laughs> can't win on his own. Uh, Eddie cuts a promo before this match. And he, like, Eddie cuts his promo and he really is trying to get over uh, this line where he calls Billy Gunn Goldilocks. He calls Billy Gunn Goldilocks at least four times during this promo. I'm like, wow. I was like, I remember Billy Gunn being blonde, so I, I guess that makes sense. Billy Gunn comes out. Billy Gunn's hair couldn't be more brown. <laughs> he's got he's got the blonde gold. tips. He's got the blonde tips. Bro, he, the frosted. Goldilocks never was dirty blonde. <laughs> dirty blonde. Hey, whatever. Bam. Billy Gunn looked good Bam. at this Bam. point, man. That motherfucker he was, was a... yoked. Yeah, oh my god, he, he was looking like a diamond, bro. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah, Hell this is yeah. this is mullet Eddie too. So this is like goaded Eddie Guerrero. This is my favorite version yeah. of Eddie right here. This is like. When That's I, when, good. I mean, this this just goes so crazy. I don't know. He was just he was still in like a I guess a middle section between what he eventually would move his character to and like mm -hmm. what he originally was when he was in WCW. So it's this just a is... really fun time for for Eddie. I think. When does Eddie get fired? Is it like right after this? Uh, oh, I forgot he got fired. Because I remember he was IC champ the first and he... couple ROH shows because it was like he was there for like the first couple. So whenever ROH right. started up. It, no, it had to be. Yeah. It had to be way after this. Always didn't start till what? You 2000. think? Oh, okay, 
Because I, I remember he was Intercontinental okay. Champion, like, doing shows on Indies. I remember him and that punk uh, Mysterio. Yeah, he came back, way. and then he still he still did his indie shows. Cause I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know how he, he got Vince with the IC belt no to let idea. him finish those indie shows. That is crazy. Especially, yeah, like, like IWA that- shows. Fuck. Yeah, Vince likes people that finish their dates, though, so maybe he was like, oh, you're a big man finishing your dates that you... Yeah, but Vince put the title hot. on him. Yeah, while he was doing the shows. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. Weird. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. He, uh, I think he got released in 01, so this was like a year after oh, okay. this, so that's... Okay, that's fine. I, was, I wasn't sure. Dude, so Eddie, uh, Eddie says... Oh, I was saying, Eddie says, uh, Goldilocks, get your butt out here. Wait, <laughs> out down here. He says... Get your butt out down here and let me knock the bleach out of your hair. All right, cool. He already had it out of his hair. There's no bleach in his hair. <laughs> this is uh, post Eddie and China breakup. Uh, Eddie is obviously still not happy about the situation at all. He says that he yeah, broke up with her. That uh, Chipacitas. I said, oh shit. She no, is a Chipacitas. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't even talk about Chipacita. Chipacita. Who is that? <laughs> Dude, Jerry Lawler yeah. does that so many times on this show where he just says a word. I he goes, love <laughs> Lawler. He, goes, he was actually not show. bad this show. Yeah, he was going no, crazy. No, this show is good. Yeah. Yeah, he was going nuts. Uh, also, this is the Oval Intercontinental Championship. You guys like this? I yeah. do like this. At all. Also, Oval Tron, by the way. Big ovals all over the place. Just a big shape. A lot in the of 2000s. ovals. Vince is a big oval yeah. guy, yeah. yeah. I did, yeah, no, I, that, I did like that title. I used to like, I like when they, too. I was like, when yeah. they had the oval one, I was like, I like the other one that they have with the US title, uh, or the yeah. IC title, and then I'm like, now that I see that, I'm like, I like the oval one now. This is so the RVD belt which one I like me. better. Yeah. Yeah, R- yeah I, I, I can see I think that. of the Christian yeah, yeah. belt, too. Ooh. Mm, yeah. I think, I, whenever I think, but whenever I think of Christian, I think of TNA more. So, like, that's what, that's oh, what yeah, I would yeah. go to. That's RVD. the Miz's title. Oh fuck! True. Oh shit! Put the title <laughs> in the trash, boys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Billy Gunn's fucking jacked. He comes out here. He's really over too. Uh, Eddie, Eddie is over super, like super big as a heel too. Like they fucking don't like this guy at all. Yeah. Um, which makes it e- makes this match even better um, because they actually get quite a bit of time here, and 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 they don't even do anything like really crazy at all. They just work a straightforward heel face match, and the crowd eats up every single bit of it, all of it, every bit to the finish yeah, they, too. They, this was like real solid stuff here. I, I didn't ex- like. I was figured. I had a feeling Billy was gonna win just because I was like, "Why are they opening with this?" And then the radicals being mm-hmm. barred. But I didn't expect Billy to win. But I, the finish was cool. Billy, uh, like you said, is in great fucking shape. Tall dude too. Like you could just see how. Yeah tall this motherfucker is yeah. here um a lot of there's a few cool spots in this um the ref gets bumped at one point uh after eddie Guerrero took the icy title tim white takes like the worst referee bump of of all time <laughs> or, or if, if not one of them uh here's a question so eddie has the belt in the ring the belt's on the canvas uh ref gets bumped and eddie does a ddt on to the belt now mm-hmm. is that would that be a dq Technically or no? Because in my mind, I was like, well, if there's something on the floor and I DDT somebody onto it, I don't know if that's illegal. Like, if you DDT the somebody onto the stairs, I don't think it's that's illegal. the ref's discretion. If the ref but... sees it, mm. yeah, if he sees you bring the title in and DDT, mm. I think that would be it. But if he doesn't okay. see who brought the title, if the title just mysteriously was there, maybe not. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take no, that. I hear um, you too, because I, I feel the same yeah. way with weapons. Uh, a lot of times, it's, it's someone... Weird. I mean, it's like that in the games too, you know, you DDT someone on a chair or whatever, they don't get dq Yeah. So and then sometimes tables are like if 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 you bring out a table that's illegal, but if you put someone through the announce table, it's not illegal. Like it's it's very like if you throw them into the steel steps, it's okay. But if you bring the steel steps in the ring, it's not okay. Mm, I see. Ah, I see. Okay. If it's part of the the ring, uh, sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. Fucking refs. (laughs) Get together, Tim. Uh, Eddie uh, hit a frog flash for a two counter on this. Uh, Billy Guns, uh, th- th- I'm pretty sure there was a New Japan camera guy for this match because at one point I definitely looked right up Billy Guns' ass. <laughs> Just got real, <laughs> real tight up his ass. Uh, Billy, I, 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 this was one of Billy's moves that I forgot that he did really good, but he had this, he hit this tilt whirls like power slam on Eddie yeah. that looked cool as fuck in this. You know what's um, cool is that. They that exact animation is a reversal in almost every WWE game, and it's literally just yeah. Billy Guns. It's Billy Guns. Yeah. Man. And it's <laughs> right. cool because like right. uh, 
that move does fucking rule. All his moves ruled. He was really good at just the basic stuff. His power slam looked great. Tilt World Slam looked great. He did a fucking jackhammer yeah. in this match. Looked great. I mean, he just did a bunch of cool stuff, and like everything he did just looked like he had authority with it because he's like six foot six, two hundred something pounds <laughs> of pure muscle. Dude hadn't ate a yeah. carb since like nineteen ninety four. Just insane. He's never eaten an Oreo in his life. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Oreo. Uh, like you said, Billy hit the jackhammer, uh, hit the Famouser close to count on there. Uh, he went for the Famouser. Eddie crotched him on the top rope, which I thought was a, a cool looking reversal. Um, and then Billy, uh, Eddie went for like a flying nothing off the top, got caught with the one and only for the win. Uh, new Intercontinental Champion, Billy Gunn. I couldn't remember Billy the name Gunn. is, so I wrote Billy wins with a quick draw because I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> the quick draw. <laughs> oh, the quick draw. How how dare you forget the one and only? <laughs> I forgot. They definitely yeah. did. He even call it that at this point? Because he they definitely didn't call it that. I, I don't. Oh, maybe not. Then maybe not. I. What video game came out in this year? Was this the? There was Smackdown two. Just bring it. This Smackdown year. two. Know your ro- know your role and. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. And, and no mercy. mercy. Yeah. No mercy. Okay. Came out this well, year he was. He wasn't the one in either of those games, was he? No. Yeah, so fuck so, no yeah, mercy. I guess he was thing where you pull your pants down, right? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely show your ass cheeks and no mercy. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Damn right. The crowd popped huge for this win, though. When uh, Billy yeah, Gunn won the Intercontinental cool. title, they popped massive signs were going up. Dude, the crowd really, was the greatest day of their lives. The pictures, the Polaroids Eddie. going off. All the yeah, Eddie sucks chants Eddie. were yeah. super loud, too. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's what happens when you have someone super over his face and super over the heel, man. You just fucking go out there and do whatever you want and they'll, they'll bite on it. It's nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, so after that, we move on to a Mick Foley and Deborah segment backstage. Uh, we have John Wayne Foley <laughs> dressed up as a pilgrim. <laughs> Deborah pilgrim. is also dressed up as she, her titties are out. I don't know. She's, she's <laughs> just <laughs> she is a, as tits. <laughs> yes, she is a Native American. Sure. <laughs> My favorite thing about this is the first person that comes up in this whole fucking whole night is Jim Ross. He said, "What's of Deborah doing over here?" <laughs> Dude, these so there's many of these Thanksgiving segments during the show, which is why we wanted to watch this one because it's yeah. a Thanksgiving themed show. Uh, the things that these people are bringing to this Thanksgiving dinner are fucking outrageous. I don't know who, what, like, all right, so fucking. I can first tell of all, you why they brought this stuff. They're from the WWF right, well, look, cookbook. Is that what it true. is? They're yes, all promoting I, the WWF cookbook. Oh, it's a big ad for the cookbook. That's all they, it is. Do they mention the cookbook? They mention the cookbook a thousand times. Yeah, well, I honestly, Mick, Mick Foley okay. had it in his hands. I actually, uh, I actually ended up ordering the cookbook after we watched this, the the WWF one. No way. Yeah, because I want to make, I want to make some of it. <laughs> I have a oh WWF. I have a WWF cookbook somewhere else. It's like the newer one they put out. I have. I have the newer one too. Yeah. Yeah, I bought the, I bought the Fuck. really like it was like the old old one. Like uh, Hell they said yeah, it came out in two thousand. So I was like, oh, this yeah, must be the awesome. one that just came out. So fuck, I'm gonna get that. So, Apparently, it's got forward by Jim Ross. So I was like, oh, here we go. Oh hell yeah! Uh, <laughs> Foley is standing here. What is he holding in his hand, and why is he holding it the way he is? Was it a biscuit? Oh, I have no fucking clue what that was. It was, however he was holding it was really setting me off. I really wanted to fight yeah, him. Yeah, I, really, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I really don't know fucked. what it was. So JR comes up uh, with a roasted chicken. He says, oh, I got a roasted chicken here for you. Of course, I need some JR's barbecue sauce. <laughs> fucking, of course he says that. Every, 20 yeah, years. Even in 2000. Even 20 in 2000, years. his motherfucker will not stop talking about the goddamn JR's barbecue sauce on everything. Fuck. Hey, listen to my pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sadly... <laughs> Sadly, the uh, the line after this was not said by Jr., but I will still say it in the Jr. voice. <laughs> Go, yes, please, you uh, have to. Deborah is there, and uh, uh, they she's obviously wearing something quite revealing. And uh, what was said was, "Oh, those have got to be the most succulent breasts I've ever seen." <laughs> <laughs> but Deborah that's, was saying that's it. That's Deborah's not, voice. Not too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then yes, followed so. by King, who says, "Ah, oh, breast and thighs." Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, dude, he's. This was the loudest he was the entire night. It's like Vince said, really get that over. He like screamed to them, like, "Breast and thighs, Yahoo!" <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? And it was this was like they're cut away from this segment. They're like on a black screen, and then he yells it. It's really crazy. Was, they dubbed it over. <laughs> Vince was like, "You better start saying actually. something." <laughs> Talk about those thighs. <laughs> um. 
It, uh, we, we cut backstage. It quickly shows Eddie Guerrero walking around backstage. He's super pissed off, obviously. He's lost his mamacita. He's got no cervezas. Yeah. He doesn't have the Intercontinental <laughs> no Championship. It was, or mamacitas? I know. Yeah. It was it's fucked up, bro. It was definitely uh, like a SmackDown 2 season mode cutscene where you cut to the back and someone's just angry about losing. <laughs> That's exactly what <laughs> oh, it was. Oh, good. That's a good cutter for the game. <laughs> It's crazy that they had SmackDown 2 and No Mercy release in the same year. Like, yeah. I was thinking about that when I saw it on the screen because it's yeah, crazy yeah, how me much too. I wrote that down in my notes. better No yeah. Mercy was than SmackDown oh, 2. Oh, absolutely. But I still love <laughs> SmackDown 2, dude. I don't, something about SmackDown 2 is still rules. Well, you you the entrances are in front of a gigantic Tron. <laughs> it's just Tron. <laughs> is that the yeah, is that the game where like they try to do Tron promos and stuff? And like, it's just people in the Trons. Yes, yes, yes. It's just, is it's that just it? zoomed. Yes, it zoomed in version. It's just them. It's not even a big picture. It's just the character model zoomed in on. <laughs> that's actually six thousand IQ. Never mind. It's might not do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> they, that's like innovative. Like obviously they couldn't do anything with it, so they did that, and that's like fucking pretty. Hell cool. yeah. I respect that a lot, dude. I was thinking about this and like how crazy it is that they had two video games going on, and then I was looking up stuff, and I found out that. WWF actually sued THQ apparently because they THQ oh, yeah. was like one of the guys was like not looking for other companies to help work with the game so like that's why we only had like one video game for a while so like they, they sued THQ because they weren't trying to get like other games going out which is crazy. Where the fuck did you get that scoop from, Tony? <laughs> It was on, uh, I don't know, I forgot what, it was on the Jim Ross oh, podcast, yeah, you, right? Oh, you forgot what, oh yeah, that's right, motherfucker, you remember what it is. <laughs> I forgot about it. No, but I was looking into the lawsuit, I forgot about it, and then that's crazy yeah, to think about, I, like, that they were just, did, they're like, instead of porting the game on both systems, they would just make one game for one system and one game for the other system, that's wild. How did we about. not already know, like, is that, is that a real thing, or do you think that was JR just saying stuff? No, no, I looked he, it up, he dropped and there was, like, a all fucking these name, bro, he said Jim. Yeah. <laughs> that's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the dude, and then I was looking up the dude from Beyond the Mat. Remember uh, when they're talking about the WWE merchandise and they have the Stone Cold yeah. sign with the with the eyes? Remember that thing from yeah, Beyond yeah. the Mat? That yeah, was yeah. the guy. That's that was the guy from THQ, or that's the guy that linked them up to THQ. He's like the guy I don't know in their video game the department, liaison? whatever. He, merchandise, yeah, something like that. But he wow. uh, he apparently embezzled money and a bunch of other crap, and then so WWE sued THQ and then they died. Pretty much. And then, and then Jim Ross said, you know, 2K's got the license and they're doing pretty good. No, they're not. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that shows how much you know, you fuck. No, but it's crazy because they have, they have an ad for No Mercy and then like a SmackDown or like a rebound. A SmackDown rebound 2 thing. replay thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy that they had both that's of those cool, going man. at the same time and that was just a normal I don't even know how they, good year. How, did they, how did they pitch to the other sponsors? How did they pitch this to the other sponsors? Because they would do this on TV quite a bit. They'd be like, our sponsors for today are Skittles, yeah. Snickers, M&M's. Uh, it's like, <laughs> how do you pitch that to a sponsor? Because we saw a talk to a sponsor. And PlayStation. Yeah, they, 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 they did do that. Slam the night and the Burger yeah, King boot they, of the week. How do you have both of those sure, at the same time? I feel like there was like one month where like PlayStation was like the weekly one and then like Xbox sponsored the pay-per-view. It was real crazy. Yeah, Dude, they was, would do it during it the like weekly one of the show. Ones we watched. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they would say Xbox, PlayStation, Final Fantasy 10, like Golden <laughs> Eye. I'm like, Crash How Bandicoot. The fuck did you do this? I, when I Dude. talk to sponsors about stuff, they're like, you cannot, no other, first off, no other sponsor on this on this video that you do. Second well, off, no other sponsor yeah. that's within the same realm of what we do. And then, and then they go, well, and then they go, for the next five months, this video's on your channel. You cannot talk about anything yeah. related to anything. <laughs> yeah, like, well, how do they pull realm? this off? Listen, when you're, when you're as fucking gigantic as WBF was, even in 2000, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, is I really guess you're right. Was. I, I think they you're were, right. They will take any, they're like, listen. Uh, oh, you got Xbox on there? Well, I also want to be on there, so let me get on there. Like, they're not going to turn it down just because... No but one's yeah. going to jabroni yeah. WWE. Now, WWE would bow down to fucking Mattel if Mattel said, hey, don't put anything else <laughs> except us on there. But back yeah. then, WWE was doing whatever they wanted. Yeah, because yeah. now that now that you really only have, like, one sponsor per, like, thing now, they're like, oh, we have the whatever they have, Yeah, they have the sponsors they pretty much have always had. They're like, oh, we have Snickers here, and it's because it's just a safe deal that, yeah. you know, they've done a hundred right. times. Back in the day, they were taking whatever the fuck. They were like Crunch and Munch, Castro GTS oh, yeah. oil, Lugs, KBC Bo Skittles, Bo yeah, Kaboom Ghetto Blaster, Blaster. 3, 2, JVC Kaboom Box, yeah, Ghetto Blaster. 
<laughs> they didn't care anything. The Lux, no, the Lux the dude or later. Oh, the Lux, the Lux commercial later. on the show is amazing. It is fantastic. They really went out of their way right, for this. Let's keep rolling with this show. Let's keep rolling. All right, so we move on to William Regal. He's the European champion. He comes out with the European championship, which I feel like they've he, it's so pristine that I feel like no one's even touched it except for William Regal at this point. Just looking How fucking cool does that he, belt look, though? I love it the does. way he holds it. Just the way he walks out with it is like... Yeah. It's not, it's not like Ric Flair when you used to hold it out. It's a little bit different than how Ric Flair It's a British Ric Flair. It's a bruv Ric Flair. It's really just it's bruv Richard Flair. Richard Flair. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it is. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but it is beautiful. I agree with you, man. It's, it's the red accent. Yeah. I, I swear to God, it is. It's the how, red dude, accent. How, yeah. How do they not just make that the fucking you know UK title? Like, uh, come on, bro. That's your rules. They should have. That would have got that nostalgia pop. Everybody loved yeah. it. Yeah. I don't even know why it's not a thing. Yeah, they have four hundred belts, and it's just like, why is this is not a thing? Where because they didn't even use this belt very often, you know. It, it was literally no. when they first created it, it was just like for the European tours. They would have a belt that they would defend in Europe yeah. For, yeah. for those tours. And they would carry it around on the main show. Then X Pac won it. And then it was a fucking just anything it wanted to be at that point. X Pac had a champion. <laughs> oh, it was only around in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> it was only around for five years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. This must have been the five years that I watched WWE and then I gave up over that. It was, so. Yeah, it was 97 <laughs> to 2002. Yep, okay, there you go. That's all yeah. I remember. That had, good, <laughs> that had good history, though. You had, like, Angle held it one time. D'Lo Brown had it. Man, it's all about the D'Lo. Like Al Snow, when he would have a, he would be from a different part of Europe every week. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Al Snow. Oh, I can't wait to talk about him on this show. Al Snow's on this show, too, oh, which yeah. blew my mind. Oh, yeah. Speaking um, of Regal, though, what, he was the ambassador of Goodwill. I don't remember this yeah, tagline that yeah. he okay. but... Cool. I don't know what that means and what he was doing at the time. But well, you're an well, uncultured was... American. Of course you want to know. <laughs> he's That's the Goodwill true. Ambassador from England. And he's here to tell you why Thanksgiving is a fucking fraud. All you are frauds. You, <laughs> you fat, fat, fatties. <laughs> yeah, dude, he started going on. You fat fucking hillbilly rednecks. Ric Flair, you old bitch. I was like, oh my God, he's going crazy. <laughs> he said, I'm going to turn on Raw and watch Stone Cold. <laughs> what the fuck, Regal? What are you talking about? He like, said, fat asses are sitting on your bums watching the telly. He said Thanksgiving started when several pilgrims who were kicked out of England, by the way. <laughs> and that got a real loud pop from the crowd. Yeah. Uh, he said, what does Thanksgiving mean today? It means a bunch of overweight, disgusting, dysfunctional families sitting on their bums watching cartoon balloon parades on their television screens. What exactly is a rug rat? <laughs> I don't know, but he shouldn't but, have any part of any holiday. I feel like King goes, rug rat? Oh. Right, he does, that's, I he the, does that's do that. Rat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rock rat. Mm. Well, the rock cuts him off because you already hell know yeah. he's having a good night tonight. Any of these holiday oh, shows, yeah. the rock comes out and he's roasting somebody. It's every fucking holiday episode. The rock's coming out and somebody's getting their ass whooped. Did he come back from something? Was he gone for a minute or something? Because he says, I came back home. And I'm like, is he gone? No, he's just no, saying, I think he's he was, just, it was just saying, yeah, because he lives in Florida. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. But uh, I was a little surprised here because what? there was one thing. I associate with Thanksgiving that I was shocked he did not talk about in this promo. Which oh, yeah, is Tank Pie? Pie, yeah! Bro, that one Poontang <laughs> Pie talk reference! Talking about vagina? Yeah, I don't know why he didn't talk yeah, about that on Thanksgiving. Yeah, about pussy! <laughs> I, I, I fucked some vagina here on Thanksgiving, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna stuff some pie! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was fucked up. Why is Rock know. still getting hate? I mean, I can't believe he his mom was in the crowd. <laughs> Maybe that's why he was just his mom. Yeah, oh yeah, his mom was in the crowd. That's true. You want to talk? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> hey mom, how you doing? Anyways, who wants to have sex with the Rock tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Lillian Garcia, come suck my dick at your summer. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, he's going crazy. I'm looking at him going crazy. Oh, I love the rock. <laughs> uh, the rock says, the rock goes out. He says, first, Thanksgiving is a good holiday. I agree with you, William Regal. So I didn't say that. <laughs> the second. <laughs> <laughs> Regal's just looking disgusted at him. What the fuck? The second, ain't nothing wrong with unbuttoning your pants after eating a little Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, hell and he on. says, Thirdly, you're no more than a bug-eyed, suit-wearing, cockamamie, punk-ass bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lawler, 
Law was who? Oh, Cole was on. I was like, Law, I feel like Law is the only dude on this show. This is where Law knew his Cole role said. and he played it perfectly here. God, it was, yeah. dude, it was incredible because this, like, I had to clip it out. It was so well done. So he goes through all of it. <laughs> The, the the captioning doesn't even know what he's saying halfway through. He goes, bug he is bug ass suit wearing <laughs> indistinct something, something, something. Yeah. Cockamamie, bug ass bitch. And Jerry Lawler just, I mean, perfectly. It it beeps out bitch and then it goes to Jerry Lawler. Ah! <laughs> 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 so good. It is good. Uh William Regal uh responds to him by saying, Do not come out here and besmirch my words. And the rock goes, Hell Hold yeah. on. Besmirched. Are you feeling besmirched, William? <laughs> he goes, yeah. It doesn't matter if you're feeling besmirched. Yeah. <laughs> Big pop. And Regal has like the shit. best facial expression ever. He's so he, pissed uh, off. God, it's dude, so good. He, it's it really like yeah. You're right. It's so good. He he's so good at just reacting to anything. He is, dude. He he because he just takes it to the extreme. He's not afraid to just look stupid because that's what he that's yeah. what the Rock did. He just made him look stupid this whole thing, yeah. <laughs> and it was awesome for it. Um, The Rock says, you know, I'm going to walk down the ramp. <laughs> and he goes, wallop your candy bum all over Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> big, big pop. The crowd went crazy for this. I'm like, damn, was... y'all love this podcast. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> there was one line he said before this. He says, the pilgrims were kicked out of England. They left England and they landed on a place called Plymouth. <laughs> Rock, <laughs> big pop, and he raise the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rock. And I think rock, King you. goes Rock. Ah. <laughs> 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 he does rock. rock. Oh yeah, Regal at uh, one point goes. Now, now listen. Now you listen to me, Sunshine. He calls the Rock Sunshine. I said that was pretty. I funny. love that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. That's cool. Okay. Um, that, the Rock challenges Regal to says. a match later, and then uh, afterwards he says, "Afterwards, we're gonna have a Thanksgiving meal." The Rock is going to eat the breast, <laughs> eat the wing, eat the thigh, and he's going to save Regal the drumstick. <laughs> and he's going to take that drumstick, wash it off so it's so clean, put some of that British Worcestershire sauce on it, and as a goodwill from America, turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. Hell oh, if you smell. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have oh, some oh, I love pussy. What the Rock? <laughs> Pussy, pussy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. His, it comes to his mom chanting. <laughs> we put his mom over there going, ah, 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 ah. his mom's got her tongue out, licking the air. Dude, we got to get that shirt with the Poontake pie with the Brahma bull just going, ah, 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 Dude, pie. you have going, no ah. fucking idea how bad I want that shirt. I'm about to get us to boot it if we don't if we, fucking <laughs> someone, give us a, someone give us a flat image of the Poontake pie shirt. Yeah, we'll figure God, it out. From we should there. get. I want, we should get it, but remake it. Have it be Luther going. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that some bitch sideways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah baby. <laughs> Shit. So this was awesome, man. This was a really good segment. Yeah, uh, good the promo. Rock was uh, all timing in 2000. Just really out of control, Absolutely. having a good time. Uh, and William Regal was the perfect straight man for anything that yeah, you ever wanted so to good. do. He's just really good. Yeah, uh, and he was it didn't hurt that he was also goofed on. A really fucking good wrestler. So whenever it got to the actual yeah. match, uh, you know, you got something with that too, which was cool. Uh, so we get to Mick Foley and Deborah backstage again for the Thanksgiving dinner that they're trying to do. Uh, this is where a young Al Snow with no beard, freshly shaven, comes yeah. up. And he's got <laughs> peas, and uh, Mick uh, Mick Foley says, "Hey, hey, hey, Al Snow peas." <laughs> and then Al Snow looked at him with a real mean look and go. Do you know what a finish is, Mick? Do you know what a pop is, Mick? <laughs> he said, what drew the most of WrestleMania 3 fully? <laughs> and then Mick said, I love how... peas. And then that was it. They just kind of peas. Went. Oh, and then Deborah how... and Foley oh. had a horrible handshake attempt as well. <laughs> Yeah, so so this whole thing goes down with uh, I like Mick Foley at the beginning. He's like, there's always that one relative that gets on your nerves and Al Snow walks in. He's like, oh, fuck yeah, it's speaking of. Yeah. And then he says, I, I, I like a, he goes, I like a white Christmas, but I hate snow at Thanksgiving, which is pretty good. True. Uh, was this what Kat came in too? That was, uh, so they cut the that commercial. That the next oh, one. Yeah. 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 That's the next so one. Okay. They cut the commercial on same thing, Foley and Deborah backstage. And then uh, the cat, Miss Kitty, walks up with beef jerky. The fuck? Homemade. Yeah. I, guess I, I, I think that's in the WWE cookbook. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I, I guess it all was. I didn't. 
I didn't. It's the that movie, Can yeah. You Take the Heat Cookbook is the name of the book. If you want how about you take it. that ass out of here with that beef jerky? <laughs> yes, I'm L. Uh, <laughs> uh, the from America. <laughs> Turn that son bitch sideways. <laughs> Deborah says, go set the beef jerky over there with Al Snow's peas. And Mick goes, hey, peas. Al Snow peas. <laughs> Al Snow peas. <laughs> All right, Mick. This is going to be a long fucking night. Go sit down with JR. <laughs> okay, come on J over here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, why don't you come sit down over here with me? No, I'm going to sit over here, here well. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> come over here, little Jezebel. Sit on my cock. I want to show you Be on this, Jezebel. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come out here and have Al Snow pee on you? <laughs> <laughs> it's real so anyways, weird. Like Vince, told, Vince was like, don't come to the arena. That's a real that's fucked real up weird. segment, yeah. actually. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, we have... <laughs> it's real fucking weird. We got the Holly, the Holly Cousins versus yes. uh, TNA or uh, T and APA. At this oh, point. is this? Where, I, oh, you forgot. You forgot to mention where Foley goes to give a kiss to Cat and then shakes her hand. Yeah, I'm I not don't mentioning that. remember that. <laughs> I feel like I tried to block that out. Actually, yeah, no fucking vision. Oh, okay. that. Jr. said I, I was worried about people. Jr. trying to pee on people. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Dude, I don't remember TNAPA at all. That must have been just a month long angle that they run where TNA took over the APA offices and now they're they're the wow, Jarrett agency. and company, the the Harris brothers too took over <laughs> APA. No, the not, Harris no. brothers. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was TNAPA, you know. Yeah, I wrote they took here in all caps, business. where is Trish from 2000? But <laughs> That's what she's Jeffrey Lawler later. said. <laughs> he did, I know. I wrote that down and then Lawler said it right out. Where's Trish? <laughs> <laughs> He's very pissed uh, off this later segment, too. What's his yes. work rate? Shit. So they have a hardcore <laughs> match. Um, yeah, they take it over the business of always pounding ass. So that's a really good business. Hell yeah. Over. Um, they actually do some pretty cool shit in here. Uh, Dude. Honestly, kind of yes. underrated. Both of, both of these teams kind of underrated a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Albert hits a fucking mean gorilla press sit-out slam, which he yeah, just... what the fuck was that? Yeah, he was just out of control. I don't know. He was just showing off at this point. I don't know. I don't it's even know like he called that. slam sit-out flapjack fucking thing. It looked so crazy. Um, Crash did a flipping head scissors over the rope. That Whew. was crazy. Um, Dude, it, it's like yeah. in a springboard position, but he does like a flip over the rope instead and then hits a head scissors, which was dope. It's like how Hangman goes for the buckshot, except he caught him in a Rana. Yeah, yeah it, it looked uh, great. Lawler, hadn't, Lawler continued with his gimmick and he said, I taught Crash that move. So Lawler teaches <laughs> people moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Kitchen. Well, we, we, we all know Tommy Dreamer came up with that move. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, yeah, ECW? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spicoli yeah. head scissors. Sp Spicoli Rana. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so you, they beat Tommy. each other up with weapons, uh, <laughs> leather straps, you know, stuff like that. Uh, just your kind of kind of your basic WWF hardcore match at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Tess then ends up pinning Crash after a big boot, where Albert tossed Crash into the big boot, which I thought was a yeah. simple yet well done finish. He hit him with a squisher in the corner with a trash can, and then threw him into the big boot. Tess kills him with it. One, two, three. Cool. It was fun, fun little hardcore match. There's something about that boot. Is it just his like leg size, or or I don't know what it I, is, but he kills him with it. It's weird because he's the only one that really does it like that too. I don't know if it's just how he. Maybe it is just how big he is, or he just knows how to. I like run I like the, the Luke Harper one. I liked when he did it, where he took a knee. Oh yeah, yeah, the knee big boot. I always thought. Yeah, that's good. cool. Yeah, but this one's crazy because he doesn't take a knee. He just he throws takes his your head off. Is what boot. he does. Yeah, yeah he, he takes you. Yeah, I think it's like you you take the bump or you fucking die. So there's like two yeah, pretty much. things that could happen here. So yeah. Uh, after this match, we go backstage. Mick Foley and Deborah Thanksgiving dinner again. Uh, oh, we yeah. had these tables set up. I guess this is catering. I guess what catering looks like in 2000. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they have the weirdest group of fucking people at this Thanksgiving dinner. They have Al Snow, <laughs> Jim Ross, and the cat sitting at a small table, not saying anything to each other. It's really <laughs> fucking weird. Uh, Foley goes, uh, there is nothing really sweet here, at least as the food is concerned. And then Jim Ross goes, <laughs> ski well, oh my God, Nick. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's crazy. And then, of course... Uh, two cool show up with sweet potato casserole and salsa. You like fly today. Hell yeah. Uh, Grandmaster Sexay's out here. Yeah, the sweet potato casserole reminded me that, holy shit, I'm going to get candied yams soon. Do you guys like that stuff? You like candy yams? 
Hell yeah. I'm not a I'm yams kind of guy, but I respect it. Really? I, respect not, it. I love Have you ever yams. had candy yams, yams before? Good. Like with the uh, marshmallows that's probably melted what, on No, top? I actually haven't. No, no. Oh, wow. Dude, that's good um, shit. That's good you shit. You want to invite me over? Yeah, invite me yeah over I was going to say, I wish COVID? I could. Well, it's simple. You, just get, you can just get the candy yams in a can and then just put marshmallows on top and then you just put it in the oven for Marshmallows? A bit. Marshmallows. It's That's good. what makes yeah, them candy. Yeah. Whoa. Because it, it would be it would be canned yams if it was just the canned yams. But it, what makes them candied is you put the marshmallows candy. on top too. Yeah. Whoa. They're canned yams because you're a candy ass piece of trash, James. That's why it is. <laughs> what about Prince yeah, they're Albert from America? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll have to I'll have to check into this. Yeah, it's actually really good. I wish I could give you. I wish you I could, a sweet I potato with marshmallows on it, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just mail it to me with my shirt? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. That's no. I put in the tracking too. <laughs> Put it on the customs <laughs> list. <Spence>. Candied yams. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get stopped immediately. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, because they want to fucking have some too. It's good. That's true. You're right. Um, also, so, uh, fucking Foley throws. He just throws half eaten food on the table and just leaves it there like a fucking sicko. Dude's a fucking maniac, dude. Some wrong. I was going to ask you guys what the, what the fuck is with these portion sizes? Like, you're supposed to bring food for like the whole locker room and it's like a one serving size for all this food that these people bring. <laughs> Jim Ross yeah, brought enough to... chicken for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not his thing. <laughs> Jim Ross legit just, it's the tiniest roasted chicken ever. <laughs> I don't even know where he found that. It's not like you can go to the store and get a chicken that big. He had to like go and like look for it. <laughs> he killed it himself. <laughs> yeah, for the, that's a, it comes with the barbecue zone. Well, I fucking, I choked it myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Boom, boom. Jim Ross is choking the chicken again. Oh fuck! <laughs> He's beating hog. <laughs> what, what was what was Mick doing at the end of this? By the way, what was he doing? He was talking about doing the worm, and then he started going crazy. He started fucking you. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Deborah's like, dance, "What is yeah. happening here?" Like, like, you're, you're not, not hip, hip and he's like, "I'm not hip." <laughs> he started doing the dude love gimmick. He started going crazy. I said, like, "What's happening?" It wasn't oh, even the right. On? It wasn't even the right dude love dance. It was like, I don't know what was going on here. Uh, it's just some Fortnite bullshit. I'm sick of this millennial shit on this show. Fuck I just can't those. stand it. <laughs> <laughs> Millennium. <laughs> After this, we get uh, the Lug oh, Boots flashback. Whew. Wow. What a moment in time. This literally took me aback for a second. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Holy shit. I remember they this one specifically, too, the Christmas one. Yeah, because they made a specific Christmas jingle with the Christmas lights, and they made like a whole animation just for this Christmas thing. It's Thanksgiving, Lugs. It's Thanksgiving. It ain't Christmas time yet, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the animation. It's like this dude sliding on the ropes. Some he's blue got, ass guy. I don't know who it he's was. He's got Santa guy. outfit on. He's got the Lugs on, and they're all Christmas up. The Tron's got Christmas lights all on it. Shit's awesome. It is cool. And that's a Blue Man group, Tony. They, they were at the TNA shows we went to. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, they all used to be there. The blue man wearing the lo- <laughs> yeah, the of course. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, what's those guys doing over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the fake blue meanie. Uh, then they showed the flashback. It's like the Dullies gave like a 3D or something to write the censor. Is that what it was? Yeah, they Steven, put Stevie Stephen Richards. Table. Stephen Richards got put through the table. It's Stephen Big Tony. Stevie Steven. Cool and the blue guy. No, Big it's Steve not Steve cool Stevie Cool. Guy. No, it's a Stephen Richards. The blue guy. <laughs> the large blue guy moment of night, baby. Stevie Cool. Large Steve Cool. <laughs> Yeah, the Steve, Steve kid. McCool, or the McCool, the McCool family. I love him. Mark McCool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. So that leads into Val Venus versus K Quick. Right, the sensor comes out. Steve Richards is fucked up. He's got a concussion from the How Dully is he boys. still fucked up from that after all these days? He's walking. Ah, I can't even walk down the road. Got to do something. <laughs> So Val Venus comes out, he says, Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, but you really shouldn't be here at the WWF. You should be home with your families. I said, huh, that's all right. I mean, yeah, you're well, right. Someone should <laughs> tell Val Venus that someone should tell Val Venus that this is taped on Tuesday, you fucking mark. Oh shit, gotcha. Ooh, right to censor this. Bitch. Uh he- they also write to censor the word scumbag. I was like, oh, okay. They they censored the word bags. <laughs> is what they did. <laughs> he definitely scum. said scum, but the bags was too much. Uh, he goes, uh, no more to the song Getting Rowdy and say hello to Getting Morality. That's pretty good. K Quick's theme song is Getting Rowdy. The, th- oh. the three live crew is here, and it's time to get <laughs> rowdy. Uh, yes. I'll give it this much, man. This theme song went kind of crazy. They went super hard on this entrance, and fucking K Quick looks exactly the same, if yeah, not better fuck? now, than he did them. It's insane. And he's still wrestling the same match. Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane. Same, <laughs> the same moves, the same exact stuff. How is that real... possible? 
This is 20 and also years the ago. Had the ski woe camera. <laughs> you woo. Get rowdy. <laughs> it's awesome. Hey, they were oh, killing also it, though, one man. Thing was they sadly uh, they didn't cut to a single person in the crowd during this performance because I imagine no one enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it went crazy. No one had a good time during. This. I was big. I said, "Oh shit, here we go!" I was hitting the uh, archer shoulder thing. I was going crazy with. Oh, it. Like, oh shit, you moving some fags? Yeah, just fucking going crazy. And Val Venus was dressed like dressed like the butcher in this match. Shit, he looked like Colonel Sanders. I was like, "The fuck is this? Who is this guy?" <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Sanders. Uh, Truth <laughs> literally just wrestled the same match. It, it, I don't know how he's doing it. I really don't know 20 years later how no, he's still no pulling idea. this off. Uh, Truth hits a plancha that Val Venus just completely moves out of the way for. Just straight up missed him. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> yeah. Um, True. R-Truth ends up hitting a avalanche Frankensteiner. Uh, but right to yeah. censor makes the run in here uh, to stop him. Steven Richards comes in, hits a DDT on Truth. That leads to Val Venus getting the win. Over K Quick. Good father and Bull Buchanan uh, attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Good father and Bull Buchanan attacked Road Dog on the outside, and Good father and Bull Buchanan are the current tag champions, which must have not been a long reign. Yeah, I feel like Right to Censor was like a flash in the pan. Yeah, it's. I mean, good idea in theory. I thought it was cool, but oh, it was a good. Never... I think on paper that's a great. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. But, uh Fuck if it didn't suck most of the time though. Yeah, they didn't. It just, I feel like even I feel like then, like now, it feels like it didn't go long line, but I feel like when it was going on, I feel like, damn, fucking right to censor sucks. This shit's going on forever. <laughs> Get over with this <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah just, man. Fuck, right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they censored the word scumbags, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Scum. So it lasted, it was only like a year. It was July 17, 2000 through June 2001. That feels so like all... even longer than I remember. Yeah, I guess they were at uh, WrestleMania 17, yeah, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Ivory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She actually had an okay... I mean, she was... She was probably the best part of that group. probably the best group. part. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> um, which sucks, because the motherfucker's name was Goodfather. It should have been a lot better. <laughs> a lot better than it was. <laughs> That's such a fucking brilliant idea for that turn, is the Goodfather. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah I, could, I feel like we could have... Uh, if we ran that back at DPW, we found a lot more shit to do with that. Maybe a lot of I'm fun. surprised they kept the name Val Venus though. They, you, I mean, eventually he turns into Sean Morley. You think they would have just did it then? Mm. Yeah, and then he was uh, Eric Bischoff's stooge. Yeah, chief of staff. Now he's Ooh. a fucking weirdo on Twitter, so it all works out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. For true. Yeah, put him in the Deddies. Goddamn. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I think he uses Facebook mostly, so more Facebook. Yeah, he should account. use his fucking brain. Stop smoking. <laughs> no, sorry, bro. He's too deep. <laughs> They're not getting out. Uh, <laughs> we cut next to uh, the Thanksgiving dinner again. There are a ton more people at the Thanksgiving dinner this time, man. Whoa. Uh, the Dudley boys are there doing their what's up gimmick. <laughs> they they somehow it too. kept relevant 20 years later. I don't know wow. how. How did they it's, do that? Some things just stick Wasn't that forever. from the first? That was from a Bud Light commercial, wasn't it? Or a Scary Movie and Bud That's Light. That's from Scary that Movie, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Did and, Bud Light, they did a Bud Light commercial, too, where he's like, Rada. Okay, yeah. It, because it was Scott. really relevant for, like, you know, a year. Five minutes, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> then they said 20 years later, when they come back to Raw, let's do it again. What, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> and it's still got the same reaction, too, though. Just, you yeah. know, probably, like, you know, 10,000 less people. <laughs> at least, <laughs> yeah. It's Six million less people at Watch and Own, so. Yeah. Um, then Funaki comes up, he brings Kung Pao Chicken, and Deborah goes, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without the Kung Pao Chicken. That's for true. Mick Foley says, yep. well, uh, you know, it's not officially Christmas until, uh, we have the candy cane. Funaki hears cane, and then he runs away in fear. He says, cane! <laughs> ah! <laughs> also, Scotty Too Hotty was spraying whipped cream into Mick Foley's mouth. Yes, all over Foley's, his fucking had, face. He was ribbing yeah, him. Just, it was I all had, over He's doing whippets here. He's getting high. <laughs> <laughs> doing whippets. Ah, he's getting whippets. <laughs> Pretty good. It's not oh, Thanksgiving shit. until Mick Foley's doing whippets. <laughs> <laughs> Al's no peas. So we get uh, at the. <laughs> I we think he says that again under his breath randomly. He does, does say it fucking <laughs> again. This dude's a maniac, dude. <laughs> uh, we get the outside the venue B roll as we get back to the show, which I. 
God, it's so nostalgic to me to to just see that, you know, like, hey, we're here in Fort Lauderdale and there's the fucking yeah. trees. I love when they would do that when it was like snowing. That was my favorite shot of that. Yeah, that yeah. was really cool. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just because they did it and like it's something I remember from when I was growing up. So I just something yeah. I remember. Um, so we get a Kurt Angle video package. Uh, he has the feud with Undertaker right now. Call me Eric Angle. Call me Eric <laughs> <Yes>. Angle. <laughs> <laughs> Did we watch this before? Like, I know we talked about it at least off. I think we talked. I mean, we've talked about Eric Angle off the show. <laughs> but we've, no, but we've talked about <laughs> we talked about this taker with the pants and stuff. Remember, Eric from Angle. This, Call yeah, me Eric Angle. <laughs> Dude, does it, I love this angle though. I love this. Like, oh, it's Eric a great Angle. angle. Under the ring, and it's, then he yeah. comes out and they, cause take her they pants. They do the that wrong again one. later on with him and Brock too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let me let, let's talk about this video package real quick. So uh, Survivor Series was the pay per view, right? They were at recently. Yes, Survivor um, Series Undertaker one, or two thousand. Und sorry, Undertaker hit the last ride at Survivor Series, but he hit the last ride on the wrong angle because Kurt Angle went under the ring and Eric Angle was under the ring, and then he came out from under the ring, and then Undertaker gave the last ride to Eric Angle. You son of a bitch! It was the wrong one. That was one. also also the show where Undertaker was wearing the Godfather pants. Yes, it dude, it was. Yeah, yeah. They showed that a lot too. <laughs> Which, they like zoom in on the pants. You deserve to lose. <laughs> That's what you get, motherfucker. Eric Angle. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bitches so want to fuck me. <laughs> Eric Angle. Uh, Taker then beats the fucking bricks off a of curtain and chokes lands him straight to hell <laughs> through a Sh bunch of. <laughs> Tables. I'm pretty sure the shot they show of Taker after that, where it's like the shot from where he chokeslammed Kurt off the stage, it's a shot up. He's like showed in like the Raw intro forever after that. Did he have the sunglasses oh, on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, and then, of course, we get the Kurt Angle promo. Before that, we get uh, WWF SmackDown is brought to you by WWF No Mercy. It's brought to you by God. WWF No Listen to this. Listen to this lineup WWF No Mercy, Crunch and Munch, and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. That's so wow. fucking crazy. That brings 2000, you back, dude. It? What a great fucking year. I think year. the anniversary of No Mercy just passed. Like, this yeah, week or did, something like that. Yeah, it did. Just recently. I wow. saw a lot of people posting about and it. SmackDown cool. 2's coming up on the, uh, I think it's the 27th, maybe? I can't remember. But SmackDown 21st, 2's coming up. 21st, I feel like, is, or something like oh, that. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's coming up, though. Yeah. It's pretty soon. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, dude. We're old. Oh, especially November Tommy. 21st, and then the uh, 17th was, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was No Mercy. Yeah. <laughs> Tony was buying said. No Mercy and Crunchy Munch, and he was ready to get him and his buzz got together. <laughs> For his kid. Dude, we dude, we got a six-pack of Bud Lights, um, Lugs, <laughs> and Crunch and Munch, and a what? No Mercy. It was a good what? time. <laughs> I know that there was people back then that really just bought whatever was on this fucking show. They'd get Lugs Hell and Crunch yeah. and Munch and No Mercy and whatever the fuck. Crunch and Munch I goes would... hard, though. That rules. Crunch you and Munch is oh, good Crunch Munch. Shout out to Crunch and Munch real quick. That's true. Yeah. You don't think Shitty Little Johnny wanted a one of the JVC Kaboom boxes is all on WWF. Hell yeah, I did. I don't think it was called the Kaboom box, was it? Hell yeah, it was. Fuck all that. If you didn't have a ghetto blaster, you were a bitch. That's for true. It was the Kaboom box. Damn, I thought you were making that up. And why two Stinger? Why J Stinger? I like the Stacker 2, wasn't that? Remember Stacker 2? Stacker 2? Yeah, I remember me and my boys were chugging fucking Stacker 2. That burner. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> me and my yeah, boys, boys that's not true. Me and my boys were playing <laughs> Daniel <laughs> Diversity <laughs> chugging. <laughs> listening to <laughs> listening to WWF the Music Volume Four on my JVC Kumbu Bugs <laughs> with our lungs eating, oh, eating Crunchy Munch and downing it with Stacker Two. <laughs> oh, <we're laughs> Just, just <laughs> absolutely, just chugging fucking fat burners. We were going crazy. I had the Y, the Y two stinger. What was that? Was it the Y two stinger? Y J stinger, Jericho baby. Where Chris Jericho turns into a bee. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's a little fucking weird bee dude. I remember yeah. me and my boys, bro, just stacker twos, fucking overstuffed beef ravioli from dude, some crunch and much, crunch and much, some crunch and much, some Majora's masks, some oh, stacker twos, some Y J stinger. <laughs> Where, and, and we were all wearing lugs. <laughs> yeah, and then I remember we were thinking about how crazy it's going to be with that Gretchen Wiener book that TNA had on the April or whatever. <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm excited for that shit. That's going to be yeah. High five our energy, too, from oh TNA. My God. Yes, we were going crazy. Damn, Final Fantasy X is coming out, boys. It's going to get crazy nothing, here soon. Nothing like We were the playing 2000s. PlayStation and Xbox at the oh same time. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Call me Eric two, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think how much like 
as kids, we were watching that. Uh, yeah, some stagger too. This is fucking fat burners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, this chick looks so fucking neat. <laughs> there was, th- dude, there was WWF like themed stagger two commercial. Like Edge and Christian <sighs> were in a stagger two commercial. Yeah, I guess some fat burners. You and your kids, you and dad can share the experience. <laughs> I think it's stagger two together. It's little old Stone Cold. That's all I think. It's funny because like they advertise that so much that I just assumed that they owned Stacker too. That that was just their brand of. Fat it was like burning. the Ico Pro back in the yeah, day. Yeah, like Ico Pro Stacker too. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fat, bro. All the kids were rushing to go backstage so they get some Stacker too. <laughs> The loudies and the rowdiest fans get a bunch of fucking fat burners. <laughs> <laughs> and some oh, shit. Oh, Holy shit. All right, so we get the Kurt Angle promo. He comes out. He comes out with a neck brace and gets scared by his own yes. pyro. Real Eric Young vibes that was here. Pretty good. It was, this was good. before I you suck. Thank before God. You suck. Good lord. Yeah. Thanks, Edge. Motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and he was in the Stacker 2 commercial. <laughs> you got me addicted to fa- fat burners. And you said you suck. <laughs> Ruining lives. I can't stop taking fat burners. I'm a Canadian Thanksgiving was like a month ago. <laughs> addicted to fat burners and whippets. Fucking WWE getting me hooked. <laughs> I could not stop drinking Stacker 2. WWE ever ruined my fucking life. <laughs> I'm getting I weigh I weigh 75 pounds because all I drank was fucking fat burners stacker two when I was 12 years old watching WWE Raw and smack that. Thanks for fucking nothing, Edge and Chris Jericho, your overstar ravioli, you dick. <laughs> you and Kane can go to hell. Yeah, who eats raviolis My, on the beach, you weirdo? <laughs> My immune system is so fucked up right now. All I had was ravioli and stacker two my whole childhood. <laughs> God damn it! Oh fuck! So fucked up. WWE and their marketing thing—they probably should have promoted oh. every fucking thing on oh. the planet. Yeah, I know. You just take any deal you can get, Vince. <laughs> I just started drinking castor oil and the fucking shit ruined my intestinal lining. <laughs> oh no, not castor oil. GTX drive hard. <laughs> I thought it was like stagger too. <laughs> I was chasing my stacker too with castor GTX. Oh fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck oh, it's a Kurt Angle goes out holy fucking hey, shit Kurt, Kurt says, Angle goes out Kurt, Kurt uh, says my opponents were always gracious except uh, the Undertaker uh, <laughs> he also says Undertaker if that is your real name which we know isn't his real name it's Mark McCool <laughs> yeah we know <laughs> that we know Mark that McCool. we've been through that. that yeah yeah, yeah uh, he shit. said Undertaker was doing the most he, he has done the most unsportsmanlike thing he's ever seen. Uh, and to have a problem with me is one thing, but to take it out on my brother, which is re- that really got me fired up. He's talking about his brother. It was so uh, good. Kurt he said that so little piece here. of business has earned you sore loser of the year, which I also think should be a Deddy Award. <laughs> that makes sense, too. Can we, can we make it the, the stacker two sore loser of the year? <laughs> yeah, I, we can. Yes, yes, we can. I think so. I thought it was so good here because Kurt was like, I like this because Kurt was like, Eric was just, he was just hanging out under the ring. He was going to come surprise me and celebrate with my victory. <laughs> surprise me with my victory. I was going to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> that was really uh, good. And then he starts really digging on. He says, unlike you, I love my brother. He said, I didn't set my brother's face on fire and force him to wear a scary grand mask for the rest of his life. And Lawler like, oh, God. Oh, God. Lawler goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Undertaker, let me ask you a question. Where are your gold medals? Oh, sure, you have a spissy, lo- a spiffy little bike and some real scary tattoos, but I don't think you have any gold medals now, do you? Hmm? Oh, that <laughs> was really good. Real shitty here. And then the dead man comes out. Uh, to you're gonna pay. I didn't realize he used that in 2000. Yeah, yeah. And they do. They kick this off, and he said, "Yeah, you know I got you." No! Said, oh shit! I didn't know Undertaker's coming to this. Undertaker did not use that. No, it's not what he used. He used in, uh, you're gonna in, pay in, in 2000. In WAF No Mercy, he comes out of the Raw as a war theme song. He does. So does JR. JR and Undertaker share the same song. And No Mercy is it. The Raw as war intro kicks on and then all you sudden you just see a bunch of fucking kids. And then Three little girls. Judgment Day is coming. He's here. <laughs> Always put him in the fucking the nine to five working man taker gear, the blue, the little uh, denim. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, he's a working man. That's good. Yeah, Kurt Angle says, "If I ever see you even look at me funny, by golly, 
And then all of a sudden, Undertaker, <laughs> always kicking assholes ass. <laughs> You're going to pay. <laughs> this is a long fucking promo, though, man. This segment, I feel like, took forever. Yeah, yeah Kurt Angle says a lot. He was a WF champion, so I assume they wanted to give him time. Or they were they had too much time. I feel like it was a lot of time on the show. They had 14 Thanksgiving segments. Regal talked forever. Kurt talked forever. Yeah, at least the Regal segment fucking ruled. That was our favorite part of the night. Regal segment did rule. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Taker comes out and starts whooping Kurt's ass. Uh, Edge and Christian try to make the save, uh, but Undertaker starts whooping their ass too. Uh, Kurt chop blocks Undertaker, and they all start beating him down. And then uh, Kurt slaps Undertaker in the face in the corner. And then they're all scared of Undertaker because he slapped him in the face. And Undertaker clears the ring. ENC powder. Uh, that's the end of it. Can we please talk about Christian's fit really quick? Just real quick. Oh, sure. Christian was wearing cargo pants, two sizes too big, <laughs> a tank top <laughs> with a big ass lightning bolt that had been bedazzled. Hell yeah. And lugs. This dude was out of control and he was at this point, just got bro. done drinking Stagger 2 backstage. He was, he's looking real dude, slim. <laughs> he was slim as fuck, bro. He was juiced. <laughs> fresh off them fat burners oh, that ruined my goddamn boy, life. They dude. ruined Damn, my bro, life. He had a, he, Christian was on a stack pack, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, she was smoking that stack pack. <laughs> stack 2 pack. That's that shit right there. Stack pack 2. Don't you give it to 2. Oh, your mom gave you snack packs? Stag bags, you might get you stag bags. Stag bag, baby. Okay, is Stacker 2 still a thing? Can we get sponsored by those guys? Can DPW uh, be sponsored by Stacker 2? We're probably thing? at Stacker 5 by now, bro. Come on. You think so? Yeah, Stacker oh, wait, no. Stacker 2 2020 update. Here we go. Dude, there's still the, a thing. Yeah, the world's strongest fat burner. Oh, shit. Wow, they got it in grape, berry, and pomegranate. Mmm. Yeah, I remember me and my boys would pomegranate the shit out of them bitches. We used to go crazy. It says our what? I says our <laughs> stacker family is looking good. Join us today. How do we join? Join us. This is Ooh, dark we can order. Use hashtag, <laughs> we can use hashtag stacker two energy and join the stacker two community. Whoa. Me and fuck. the boys are a bit we were we started that actually. Me and the boys back in the day. How do we join the stacker how do we join the stacker two family, bro? It's like the nightmare family? Oh yeah, I think they give you jackets, I think. They, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, I see a comment here from David. He's I always like Stacker 2 because it worked for me in the past. Uh, there's another comment wow. here from James. God, this fucking product ruined my life back in the day. <laughs> 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 me and my boys are fucking crazy on this shit. We're so small. <laughs> Help, please. <laughs> and my fucking, the water in my body is just Stacker 2. I just can't fucking breathe. I can't fucking walk. <laughs> Bro, you got free shipping on orders over fifty dollars. We gotta do a stacker two giveaway or something. <laughs> just, just look. We have a wrestling product that would love to do stacker two. We love it, man. We'll get, we'll get everybody drinking stacker two. It'll go crazy, bro. We gotta. I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna make a tweet right now about stacker two energy. I'm gonna okay, do so, it right now. So stacker two apparently has uh, not just fat burners. They have energy drinks and stuff now too. So they, we get the energy, the energy oh, shots. They call them. Give yeah, me yeah, I drink, fat a, drink a monster for that. I'm or trying to do fat burners. Oh shit, Hell yeah, fat burners. <laughs> yeah, I'm bro. Getting, they got pills now. Fat they got B12. Pills. Ooh. <laughs> 60 MGs of fat burners. I'm going crazy on Stacker 2, baby. <laughs> oh, they got something called the Stacker 2 Blackjacks with yeah, an X. I'm popping Somas Stack and Stacker 2s. <laughs> <laughs> the, Stacker, the Stacker 2 Somas? Oh, shit. They're on there, wow. too. Wow. Let's they go. They got the Soma edition Stacker 2s now? Oh, shit. <laughs> Soma 2? Soma 2? Sean Sh- really changed the business for the better. I like it. Thank All right, Sean. so... Uh, Kurt Angle promo. Uh, Taker just yes. no sells Edge and Christian completely, probably because Christian was dressed the way he was. And then yeah, Edge, Christian, better. and Angle get in a car and leave. They're out of here. See? Yeah, they just leave. Uh, all, and they show shots of which I also like when they did this. Uh, uh, Regal walking through the backstage area, headed towards the entranceway. He's shaking employees' hands backstage. Very nice guy. They show the Rock walking through. He doesn't shake anybody's hand. What a fucking <laughs> asshole. Hell no. Fuck shake a hand. Uh, William Regal <laughs> versus The Rock is up next. Um, the Rock comes out. The Rock says, fuck all the goddamn Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, they start fuck this match Europe. up here. They go a little crazy, you know, and then all of a sudden, Rikishi comes out, Dude. swag the fuck out in fat wear at the top Dude. of the ramp. Rick, Pitch I, we need Rikishi fat wear jackets. I, this I, dude yes. was dripped. The gloves? The gloves? The chains. Just God. Jacket, no shirt. Jacket, no, no shirt, shirt, Rikishi. Hell yeah, Rikishi's jacket, no shirt. drip alone distracted the rock. He didn't even say anything. He just stood there. And the rock said, God damn. 
That fat wear <laughs> well, you is look crazy. At that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Even so the Rock's story, mom was looking. Hell yeah. Dude, everyone was looking. Fat wear, it took off like crazy in the 2000s. Yeah. I think. Uh, the story no. of this match is... <laughs> well, it could, it could have. The story of this match is that William Regal used the word besmirched earlier and The Rock just roasted the fucking shit out of him. So that's the story of this match right here. Yeah. Uh, I love that yeah. Rock actually spits in his hand whenever he does the punch combo. I love that Hell he actually yeah. does it every... You know, <clears throat> most of the time you see that move in, like, the video games, but you go back and watch Rock matches, and he, like, legitimately just hawks a big-ass loogie into his hand every it's single fucking time. fucking disgusting. Yeah, there I were mean, people huge. at one point that tried to tell me that he never... He just looked at his hand. No. He straight nah, up spits into his hand it. big time. He Thank spits you. in it. Well, anyone that yeah. hears this, know you're wrong, and know your role. Uh, the True. Rock. Th oh my God! I was like, "Holy shit!" The Rock made William Regal tap out to the Sharpshooter. Dude, I has said, he ever? Is that the only guy that has ever tapped out to the Rock Sharpshooter? It has. To it be. has to be. I I can't. I was so besmirched by this finish. I couldn't even believe <laughs> I, it. <laughs> I was bamboozled and schmeckledorfed. Just unfathomable. I could, he didn't even lock it in the way. Regal tapped out. I said, "Wow!" He hadn't even hit the Rock Bottom at this point yet. He just sharp just locked that well, in real quick. They had. They had to send the fans home happy. Like, Rock, you can't fucking leave without doing the rock bottom. So he, of course, hits Regal with the rock bottom after the match just for fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, William Regal had to get his heat back. So the Rock said, fuck that. How about I give you a rock bottom instead? <laughs> you get no heat and I go home and then fuck my wife in her poon tank pot. <laughs> uh, so Regal's holding the championship outdoors too when the Rock decides to hit him with the rock bottom and the European title goes and flying into the fourth row. Fucking just gone. Yeah, it just flies out of the ring. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, The Rock stares at Rikishi on the ramp, and Michael Cole goes, The Rock, staring at his arch enemy, Rikishi. Said, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> As I remember back in the day, WrestleMania 17, The Rock versus Rikishi. <laughs> Just Rikishi. one. <laughs> this was, uh, this was leading up special? to the Armageddon Hell in a Cell, right? I think so, yes, with Triple H. And yeah, the six-way, where he takes the bump yeah, off the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah to yeah, the big yeah, truck. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner segment once again. It's Midian. Midian brings a bowl of soup to Thanksgiving. He's not even naked. What's up with this? No, he's he's wearing like a WWF like property of WWF shirt, and he brings minestrone soup. And they go soup. The book. And he goes, yeah, soup. soup. And then Mick Foley sitting there in his missed, fucking pilgrim oh, hat. Mick Foley trying to speak Japanese to Funagi. That was yeah, good. I just that try not good. to. Oh, I thought <laughs> you. <laughs> Try not to. I was hoping you would translate what Mick Foley said. I'm sure it was fluent. I'm sure it was. Konichiwan, <laughs> Funaki. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> you know, after all those whippets, Foley, Foley didn't know he was Maybe Foley he thought he was no Japanese. Idea. Yeah, I think so. And the, so we the get Dudleys, to, uh, of course, was up. Funaki as well. Can't forget the was up. Oh, yeah, he sits down. Was up. <laughs> So we get to Taz versus Raven, which is your ECW match of the night. Uh, so this is great because they've already stripped everyone here of what made them special, and they just say, go out there and wrestle. So yep, just do we a got Taz match. out here in his little little Worst gear suit. ever. This is the worst Taz <laughs> yeah, gear ever. This shit's fucking, fucking horrible. I, I've heard I missed the Taz single so fucking much, man. I don't know why Dude, they dropped that. I don't... I I. I don't remember if Taz, I think I remember I listened to a podcast so I think it was Taz's idea to wear this or I think which what oh, a really? fucking horrible idea Taz had gigantic legs <laughs> this dude had j huge legs and you cover him up it doesn't make any sense the only thing that made him look like a badass was how fucking thick this motherfucker <laughs> was <laughs> and you yeah. cover it all up at least their gimmicks made sense in ECW I don't even know what's going on here anymore no like Raven's I don't even know a heel. what this is he's just a heel guy and Taz is a guy from New York Raven is a bird, and Taz is, yeah, oh, Taz. Uh, there was a cool know. recap, though, of, of Raven. I guess they've been going back and forth for a while, and Raven did the mm. Raven effect off the stairs onto a chair, which looked kind of cool. Yeah, it did look good. Apparently, is Taz commentating on Heat already at this point in 2000? Is that for true? Yeah, he was, I, yeah. I guess so. China is also the host this week of Heat. That's a big deal to them. They're like, we're on MTV, baby. We got China coming into Heat. We're going crazy over here. Come watch this fucking show. Yeah, and like two years later, they're like, "Fuck this fucking show!" I don't know what the fuck <laughs> as Taz is, uh, as Taz is making his entrance, uh, Michael Cole uh, asks Lawler, uh, "How do you think Taz celebrates Thanksgiving in Red Hook?" And Lawler says, "Ah, probably giving thanks for not getting shot." <laughs> <laughs> 
That was a big ski well moment. Ski well. Yeah, ski well. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. That that's is a great really idea. weird. Yeah. He's going crazy. Good job, Law. You're going crazy over there. Yeah. Uh, so they literally do nothing here. They just have a fucking they just do a couple nothing. Moves. And then yeah. Raven just straight up beats them. So Taz yeah. gets DDT through the chair and then Raven beats the shit out of him. And then that's the yeah, end of it. It's so like the, there was mm-hmm. Raven went for the Raven effect at one point and got hit with the Northern Lights with a bridge. And then he got hit with the Raven effect and then the, and Raven won. And they tried to do post-match. they tried to do the uh, clothesline out of the uh, turnbuckle Brett spot. Oh, you know, where yeah. you Brett bump into the turnbuckle and take the lariat. But Raven yeah. didn't even let Taz get back to the lane. He just fucking <laughs> hit him in the corner. Him. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, that was kind of fucked up. <laughs> they should have gave it, like, they couldn't have taken, like, two minutes from that Kurt Angle fucking promo and given it to this match? Goddamn. Well, shoot, if the finish was just going to be Raven wins forehead, then who cares? I mean, there was nothing Taz here. Taz do a couple more Taz Plex. Taz the head norm Taz plays. They don't even call him the Kata Hajime. Hajime. Yeah. They don't even call it. They don't call any of that shit anymore. He's doing a fucking hold and he's doing a suplex. Dude, he's what did y'all in. do? Like this guy had a flag and a team, and he was doing head norm Taz plexes just a few years ago. Right. And now he's just nothing. I was like, okay, he's mm-hmm. a bitch. Yeah, whatever. Um, so I mean, as usual, that's what ECW is popular for. I don't know why anyone would watch this show when they could watch WWF. You know, you fuck ECW. I never heard this shit. <laughs> So <laughs> we get to the Thanksgiving dinner segment again. Uh, Mick Foley's talking to the Dudley boys. Uh, the Dudleys brought chicken dumplings from Dudleyville. How about that? The Dudley dumplings. How about that? Huh. I do ah. love chicken dumplings. You guys eat those? I've not had chicken dumplings. I don't know. I don't think I. You ever had chicken dumplings either? I guess that's a no. southern thing, maybe. What is it? Uh, let me look it up. It's chicken just like um, pastry and chicken. Like a, uh, I don't. Have you ever had like see. a? Yeah, you can look it up real quick. It's like pastry, chicken, and vegetables in like a broth. Oh, it's pretty good. this uh, like fuck, this looks like something. I, I may. It's have like comfort food. It's like uh, yeah, it's like a Sunday food. I guess is a good way to put it. Sure. Yeah. After yeah, church, yeah. Sort oh, of okay. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That does look good though. It is fucking so Dumplings. good, dude. <laughs> yeah, damn course, right. That's why I said. Foley every puts Sunday, on the Dudley's dumplings. glasses and and says, "Devon, get the dumplings." And he he also does this like three times in the segment. <laughs> and everyone's like, "Shut up, go away." Dun, You're dun, not dun, funny. Dun, shut up. Pretty much. Hey, at least after this, we get the SmackDown Two Know Your Role flashback, and it has Trish Stratus. Fuck in yeah, fuck oh, yeah, from two thousand. And uh, then of course we get Trish Stratus versus the Molly of the Hollies. She's one of the Holly cousins at this point. I guess that was after. This was oh no that's when Molly turned heel because it still boggles my mind that WWE did an angle where Trish Stratus made fun of Molly Holly who was a heel at the time and the big gripe against Molly Holly was that Molly Holly had a fat ass and that was a horrible thing. Molly Holly was sexy as fuck at this point. Hell yeah! I don't even know what they were Not talking only that, about. Trish's ass was fucking gigantic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're what are you gonna play here? What are you get out here. Yeah, I don't know. Someone wrote that and wasn't looking at the screen or something. I don't know. I don't know what the deal I was guess. there. I, I mean, I guess maybe um, it was just a different era. Boom, boom. Having a big <laughs> ass wasn't as good back then. Uh, yes, fuck that era. Uh, this match is just Jerry Lawler saying, man, I would love to have sex with both these women. That'd be really nice if I could just have sex right now with these women. <laughs> I feel like they tried <laughs> okay. here. I, this was, I, I honestly thought this was a decent little match. They, they oh, were they doing, did. That's they what I'm saying, though. Much, but they, they, they were they trying were... their asses off here. But yeah, I think this is the match. I think Molly debuts the Molly go round in this match. Yes, the flipping butt bomb. That shit rules. Cool That's a good move, fuck. James. Can you do that? Can you do that in the, the ring? The flipping please? butt bomb? Oh. Oh. You got Hell the yeah. ass for it. Do the Molly go yeah. I do have the ass for it. Good lord, I do have the ass oh, for dude, it. Oh, dude, when we when we do the when we film the intro for DPW, you got to do the Rikishi <laughs> spot. <laughs> I absolutely will. Sit on will. the camera. Absolutely <laughs> will. Just pull your shorts great. up. <laughs> Look at my ass. <laughs> But yeah, Molly wins with the Molly go around. Stacker two. Uh, we gotta have a segment to get it too, though. Or oh, we're just down yeah, in Stacker, Stacker two. two. Just it's like just water <laughs> everywhere. There's fucking Stacker two go everywhere. It's not going in our mouth. It's like Stone Cold well, that, the end. Like, like Stacker two to me. Just fucking like yeah, let's yes. fucking get well, it. That's what I'm saying. You'll Stacker two will be like your Austin, like your Steve Weiser, and then we'll do a spot where you drive in a truck full of Stacker two and spray it Stacker, all over the building. The Stacker two hose. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Spraying everyone down. It's Stacker yeah. two mania. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, so Molly Holly wins with the Molly go around, then we go to the Thanksgiving dinner segment, uh, where Deborah goes, Hello guys, would you guys like a piece of my pie? And Al yeah, Snow Deborah walks in the room and says, up. Who wants to fuck my pussy? And Al Snow's <laughs> the first one to answer. Al Snow walks right up, dead ass, goes, Ma'am, I have been a tier three sub for two years in a row. <laughs> I would like a piece of your pie. I said, Damn, what Hell the fuck? Yeah. Then Funaki goes, Funaki likes pussy. And the boys pop huge <laughs> for that one. They say, Ooh, they hey. loved it. <laughs> Yeah, for not going to say that. You can hear like Jerry Lawler on commentary saying, God, I want to fucking eat her fucking egg. <laughs> God, I just oh, really want to oh, eat yeah, her fucking egg. Oh, yeah, I want pie. I want pie right now. I need pie. <laughs> this, give me that this pie. Whole, give me that pie. The give me that pie. Give me that pie. Give me that pie. The boys <laughs> popping huge for this one. <laughs> that made it, feel like a, made it feel like a Tim and Eric skit. Like, it yeah. was really, like, really weird. The camera was, like, zooming in going. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it was, it was very easy. Like, like, like spice key <laughs> oh my god! Funagi likes pussy. Funagi pussy. Look at this guy going crazy. Funagi likes pussy, and then Big Foley said, "Konnichiwa, Funagi." So that was fucked up. And then Deborah said she's gonna lose like a thousand subs. So she needs people to donate before she gets that pie. God, please, our sub count's under twelve thousand. What the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> oh shit. So we get a Stone Cold and Triple H segment from Survivor Series where Stone Cold fucking murdered Triple H in cold blood. He picked up have a hard Triple this, H was have you in. watch this back in like uh in real time? It is so corny just looking at this with Triple H in the car going, No, don't do it, you son of a bitch. You <laughs> <laughs> will Stone Cold, no. Yeah, he picks, <laughs> Please don't drop me. He picks Triple H up in this car outside. He's got a fucking sky crane. And picks the car out with Triple H in, and Triple H is just like, you No, mommy, don't! <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. <laughs> and then Stone Cold fucking drops him and murders him right there in cold blood. The car's crushed to smithereens. He's fucking dead. Triple H is gone forever until tomorrow. It's just real until, messed up. Until, until the next episode of Raw, <laughs> where she definitely is on. <laughs> Stephanie uh, is cutting a pro promo and she goes, uh, Triple H is alive, everybody, by the way. Although, also, by the way, we're going to have a beer bro. And we're fucking. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have sex right <laughs> here I on fucked him show. recently. He's fine. <laughs> we had sex she after he, he got has, crushed. He had, he had no broken bones. How the fuck do you have no broken bones in the car <laughs> squishing you? Like you have that? to see. You have to see this to see how fucked up this was because the car got I mean there's he died there was no there was no getting out a lot there was no no he, there was no way he walked away from this the car got demolished there's no way uh and like then take a car and, said, and flip it right on a right on the top of it and that's it just from like 100 feet no, in the air yeah it was yeah, crazy it was, yeah um and stone cold came out so when she said we're pregnant we got this kid she said please accept triple h's apology stone cold said it ain't over by a long shot and that's the <laughs> bottom line i said oh here we go baby you gotta get crazy so, awesome stone says, cold accept your apology eh, eh. <laughs> he said he you're gonna crazy. have a baby what you're gonna make a kid what you're gonna have sex <laughs> what eh, eh. i'm gonna have sex with you stephanie right now <laughs> And then the pipe drop. It got crazy real quick. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Triple H real is... dark after the pipe drop. Fuck. Triple H is released uh, from the hospital. He's ducking Stone Cold by having Thanksgiving with his wife or something. <laughs> Pussy, if you don't stop ducking Stone Cold Steve Austin and get the goddamn ring, it's time to take a bump. Talking about some uh, having yeah. Thanksgiving with his wife. Yeah, let me tell you something, kid. 300 days a year on, you're on the road. You don't know where your family is. What are they doing? What's your wife doing at home? Don't know. Take a bump. Take Don't a bump. Know. Uh, so after that, we get a Thanksgiving dinner segment where Lowdown, the stable Lowdown, wants to be Hell a part yeah. of Thanksgiving. Lowdown. They didn't get invited, right? Ty no, Tiger Ali sing and Lowdown interrupt, and they hate Thanksgiving. God, they hate it so much. How long did this gimmick last? Three more days? Probably not very <laughs> long. No, it was not long at all. I feel like yeah. I remember Lowdown for a while, but I don't remember Lowdown and Tiger Ali Singh being the thing for a while, right? They changed to that. Uh, they changed to that, well, yeah, I, when Tiger Ali Singh came D'Lo, through. I think D'Lo is in the Lowdown gear in SmackDown 2, but Chaz is not in the game, and neither is Chaz. Tiger Ali Singh. Bummer. Sucks, dude. Uh, so Tiger hits Steve Blackman, who's there with a the pie by accident. And now Blackman <laughs> is beating dudes with trash can lids. He's real pissed off about Fuck the pie. Yeah. <laughs> That's like his Tiger Ali gets 3D through a table and then food fight. 
and JR is in the fucking food <laughs> fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you trying to protect your pot. Take this I chicken, love you where- motherfucker. I love when Michael Cole realizes it too. He goes, "Oh, wait, wait a minute, Jr's in the room." And I was like, "Yeah, he is in there, ain't he?" Son of a bitch. It's so good. Um, then at the end, Mick Foley gets pied by Deborah, and that is the Thanksgiving did, did dinner you guys, segment. Uh, did you Whew. guys notice there's some weird random dude who wasn't a wrestler? Like he was probably just a production guy who was standing there, yeah. like corpsing the entire time during this food fight. Oh, I think oh, it was in the corner. Was. Yeah, yeah. There's like one guy just standing there, just laughing his That's ass funny. off, like. This is the I didn't thing catch ever. that, but that's I, I that doesn't surprise me. Also, during this, I wanted to make mention of this because uh, Tiger Allah sings like you should have invited us to this, and then D'Lo Brown's in the back, and he's like, "You damn right." Did he say that? <laughs> no, yeah, he did. He says it like, "Oh my god, you damn right." That's fucking D'Lo great. Brown is the best. Uh, so then after this, we get a commercial that starts with Jericho playing the guitar, and then it, him it, it's him hanging out with the honeys on the beach. And he's he's playing the guitar, but there's there's no music coming out of the guitar. By the way. What's, There's not what's even crazy? a guitar in the song or anything. Copyright. Oh, yeah. oh. What's crazy really? is I feel like no matter what retro show we watch, no matter what company he is, somehow Chris Jericho is on it in one way or the other. We even did a fucking TNA one and he was on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, that's actually crazy. He's been fucking everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Um. So, yeah, it cuts to him at the beach and it zooms away and. Oh my god, what's that all over his fucking face? He's got ravioli all over his face. He doesn't know how to eat ravioli. It's so big, he can't even fit in his mouth. ravioli on the beach. What's wrong with Him, this guy? baby, because it's overstuffed and he's hungry <laughs> as fuck. Chef Boy RD, <laughs> overstuffed beef ravioli. He's about to wash it down on a stack or two. He says, it's time to get lit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm about to go get some overstuffed it. beef ravioli. I'm gonna fucking go crazy over you here. Get some stack or two first. <laughs> you gotta wash it down. I, I, I think I got some at the gym. I ask, I'll be like, let me get a good like, stack or two. That's stack how you do that. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no fucking way your gym has stack or two. All right, I'm a, I'm a, tomorrow I'm gonna go and I'm gonna check it out. Dude, if it's they probably do have overstuffed fucking... beef ravioli, probably. Is that his gym? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. they have that too. I asked for, oh, ask for the WWF uh, special. Look, give me that yeah, stack of two and the fucking. That's, how, that's how you. That's how you just stay even. You know, you eat the the ravioli and the stack or two. Just <laughs> yeah, you wash it you, down. So you yeah, and you don't gain any weight. That's fucked. Uh, so we get to the main event, which is Stone Cold Steve Austin and Chris Jericho versus Kane and Chris Benoit. Is Kane uh, a heel? You know, he's with Benoit, so I assume so. That's what I At thought, point, too, but yeah. I don't remember a heel Maybe Kane was just super that... over and one of the only guys that wanted to work this show, so they're like, whatever. Because they didn't give a fuck about yeah. this match. Are you kidding me? This match meant nothing. They didn't even finished no, the match. Was, they yeah. just walked out. <laughs> dude, oh my... <laughs> which was... Dude, the... Uh, I guess we... Fuck it, let's just get right into that, too. So, how fucking... As I was talking about earlier, how many fucking promos and segments and how many Thanksgiving segments there were. This match ends so ridiculously. The ref is stopping Austin from saving Jericho in the ring as he's getting beat down by Kane and Benoit. So Austin says, fuck it, and stuns the ref <laughs> just for being in his way. And then he hits a stunner on Benoit. Kane goes for a choke slam on Austin. Jericho hits him with a missile drop kick. Austin hits a stunner on Kane. Then Austin's music hits. And while his music is hitting, he's Called for Steve Weiser's Jericho hits a lion salt while Austin randomly being thrown they barely beer. they barely catch the lion salt they cut and it then, real fast they, and then back to Austin go, we're out of time we gotta go and then they just fucking it's over I was just, Happy what happened Thanksgiving here? pilgrims what did the, why did this ha- why did this end so quickly you know it was just one of those holiday episodes they're like we got everybody in the main event we'll never go to fuck home they they it, I mean, here's, the shoot, that's what happened. Austin hitting stuff. the stunner on the ref had me fucking die. The ref bumped good for it, too. I said, damn. Yeah. Um. So, good things here. Jericho's got the girl Titantron. This is fucking peak stuff True. here. Yeah, Steve yeah, Austin's yeah. got the Disturbed Stone Cold got song. disturbed. Yes. 2000 is just a good fucking year. Dude, fucking Honestly. Deb told me she wasn't crazy about the Disturbed Austin song, and I almost hit her with all Stone Cold what? right then. Oh, that. shit. She said she doesn't really like Disturbed, and I was like, well, I don't really like you anymore. Well, yeah. so, well, it's well, over, so now <laughs> I don't have anyone. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, brother. Hey, look, you can come over Thanksgiving. I got candied yams. I got chicken Hell dumplings. Yeah. You got them dumplings, two. bro? Let's get fucking dumplings, crazy. Hell yeah, I got yeah, dumplings. Buddy. Fuck yeah. Got that the overstuffed beef ravioli. We go crazy, man. We had a good time. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, and well, Johnny, that was. Uh, what do you bring into Thanksgiving? You got to bring a dish from the SmackDown oh, book. Oh, fuck. The, the cookbook. What you bring? I'm going to bring some poontang pie. <laughs> oh, you're going to bring pussy to my house? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Funaki loves pussy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Konnichiwa to that, brother. <laughs>